Hello everyone. In today's video, we're going to learn how to deploy Google Chrome in the Intune environment. Unfortunately, this isn't available in the Microsoft repository, so I'll be showing you how to go through the proper download, repackaging, and deployment steps in Intune. Now, please refer to the deployment guide I put together on the website for all download links so that way you have an easy way to download the files, as well as easy access to an Intune win if you'd prefer to just use what I've repackaged today. Now, on the deployment guide, you'll notice that we have this in our uh, deployment guide as the URL to download the MSI for Google Chrome. So just make sure, please, that the URL you see up here at the top is the URL that you're using, and that the file type that you're using is an MSI. Now, I've already downloaded this to my local system, so I won't be going through that download phase again, but I just wanted to make sure that we change this file type because it by default goes with the bundle. All right, so let's go ahead and close out of this. So as you can see, I've already downloaded that enterprise installer and placed it in my Chrome directory, and I've gone ahead and launched my Intune WinApp utility for the repackaging process. Right now it's asking me to specify the source folder. So I'm gonna come in here, go ahead and copy, paste that location. I'm gonna right click on the setup file. I'm gonna show more options. And then as I go through here, I'm going to copy and paste the name. And as this is an MSI, I'm going to put a .msi at the end. Now I need to specify the output folder. So I'm going to go into the Intune Win directory, go under Google, go under Chrome, and then put in today's date, and then copy and paste that directory that I created before. There is no catalog folder for this one. So we're going to just go ahead and hit No and Enter. It will go through and repackage the file. And remember, the larger the file, the longer it will take for this process to complete. Perfect. Now that it's been repackaged, now we can go through the Intune deployment steps. All right, so let's go ahead and get the Intune guide pulled up. And let's get signed into our Intune tenant. So I'm going to sign in as Bruno. All right, and Bruno wants to make sure that he's getting this app updated, so we're going to go into Add, Drop Down, Windows App Win32. We're gonna select, we're gonna select the app package file. We're gonna click on the folder icon so it points it somewhere else. And we're gonna navigate to that directory where it was stored. So we're going to go to this local disk C is where I have stored it, but it could be stored wherever you have your files located. I know a lot of you use your SharePoint sites for this. I'm going to go into the Intune Win directory. We're going to double click on that Intune Win file that was created. Now, as you can see, this is going to auto pull in some basic information. Now, the name, description, publisher, and everything else, I've gone ahead and included all of that data for you on my website. So please feel free to copy and paste that. In this little simulation, I'm not going to fill in this part, but just to make sure, um, I also included a logo file that you can download from my website as well to make this process a little bit easier. So feel free to fill in the information that you want. The more information in here, the better, especially if you're gonna make it available in Company Portal. Now we're going to come through here. It'll auto import the MSI uninstall and install commands, which is great. We're going to go in 64 bit application, 21 H1. Google Chrome, I usually find, is about 125 to 150 megabytes when it's unpackaged. Now we're going to choose our detection rules. So we're going to come in and manually configure detection rules, drop down and choose MSI. We're going to have it confirm the MSI product code. There are no dependencies for Google Chrome, luckily. And what's awesome is I'm actually gonna be able to show you supersedence. I've got this deployed in my environment today, and so I wanna make sure that I supersede the old Google Chrome application with this new one that I just repackaged today. And I want it to uninstall the previous version and make sure the newest one is installed. Now I'm gonna come in here to my assignments. So I'm gonna try, I'm gonna put this to all my devices. And in my organization, I have group inheritance, so I'm going to apply this to public, Highview Public Schools hardware because all of my other groups flow underneath that. 
Now, I don't want to show toast notifications because my users don't need to know that this is installing and I don't need and I want to make sure when I deploy this is based on the device time zone. So now that I've selected these options, I'm going to go to next and create. And then this is currently starting the upload process. Now, you can go up to the right hand corner and click this little bell icon. And why this is super important is you do not want to navigate from this page until the upload is complete. And the reason for this is if you navigate away before the upload has completed, you'll have to start this process all over again. Because unfortunately, what will happen is this tab will auto sleep, especially if you've got a bunch of them up at the top. And so it's best to just wait for the upload to finalize and complete. Now, say, for example, you need to work on something else while this is uploading. If you drag that tab into its own window and put it on another screen, the upload process will continue unhindered because it won't start the auto sleep process. But I know some of us only have one screen to work with, so it's best just to wait for the upload to complete. So we're almost there, 99%. And what's nice is, is once we get this upload and superseding started, we'll be able to see the apps that it, that it replaced. Perfect. So now that we've got this set up and it's automatically imported and pushing out, as it's pushing out, we'll be able to watch the device install status here. Now, for purposes of the video recording, I will have screenshots of what this looks like on the website, but I just wanted to make sure everybody understood that since I'm, I'm installing this at the device level, my main kind of um, install status I want to watch is the device install status node under the application. So, I hope you enjoyed today's little video snippet to install and manage and maintain Google Chrome and our educational environments. Thank you, everybody. Have a great day.